Hi guys, how you doing? Hope you're all well. So slightly different video today, which if you've if you've been a long time subscriber, then this is the video that you should be used to. So I went to the car boot sale this morning. It's a Sunday morning, and I bought this absolutely beautiful thing. I mean, look at it. So it's a control panel with some sort of, I'm guessing, input. I don't even know what that is. Or breather. I have no idea what that is. You got an isolator switch, and you got a Schneider electric like keyhole thing there two lamps and then push button and a switch unfortunately no labels and it's a two position switch although it feels a bit spring returny but yeah two position switch and then inside it i mean i've been looking for something like this forever going to the car boot so i mean look at how clean that lid is for one like that whoever done the wiring of this is professional that looks good i love that so uh, don't worry about that. Some guy gave me his Virgin Media card. And then, what is this? Schneider Electric. I don't know. Like some kind of instructions on what, how to mount it. Yeah, potentially like how to mount it or something. But anyway, so, I, I, <laughs> I mean, look inside it. Look at that. What is that beauty over there? So you got a Siemens logo, PLC. I was actually meaning to buy one of these, um, which you can get these, I think, for like 70, 80. I don't know which exactly which exact one this is. This is a four relay output module. And then you've got what? This is a 24 volt power supply, circuit breaker, and then some contactors down here. I don't know what this is from, Schneider Electric. Does that go? That probably goes over the key. Oh, does that actually, that turns it. Okay. So that's the lock mechanism for it, I guess. Um, so yeah, uh, something's missing there. Don't know what's missing there. I didn't even read it. So you got a test certificate. So someone back in 2016 performed a test on it. So the, the year is what, today is, uh, I think the 21st of May, 2023. So you're talking about seven years ago, someone done a test on it. So this has been sitting somewhere more than likely for seven years. So uh, electrical work, okay, mechanical work. So someone's just done a bunch of ticks. Cool. And then underneath there, I've got some terminals. So two contactors, Siemens again, some terminals. I mean, I, this I've been after something like this forever. I, I've been looking at a car boot shell constantly to try and find something like this. So you got uh, ground, whatever. I don't know what's inside, what's in here. I'm guessing this is the device that attaches to it externally. So this is, so it's got three wires on the end of it. It looks like, so it's a junction box that mounts somewhere outside I don't know, looks like either one output, two inputs, or two inputs, one out. Sorry, two outputs, one input, or one input, two outputs. I don't know. Let's, let's open it up. Oh. It's literally some jumper, like chocolate blocks. Yeah. Don't know what's going on with that. So, don't know what's up with that. And then one more thing in here is this brown box. So, I just noticed there, at right, there you can see that label, that says E-Logic Circuit Electric. Operating voltage 230, control voltage 24 volt DC, current in 4 amps. Alright, so, so Snyder Electric again, steel wool fixing lugs. So, probably pointless me opening this, but I bought this from a car boot sale, so I suppose you never know really. It sounds like it's fixing, fixing lugs as well. Yeah. So, I don't need those. Cool. So, that's everything inside here. Now, let's talk money, shall we? So, for this unit, when I saw it, I said to myself, I, like, I almost peed myself. How it, That's how excited I was to see it. So, when I saw this, just sitting on the floor, I went, yo, that's a control panel. What's in there? And when I opened it and I saw the PLC logo, oh my gosh. Like I just opened it and went, <gasps> Siemens. And I just, like the guy was looking at me 
and I just tried to keep like a straight face, but I was I was smiling. And he went, what, what is it? I'm like, oh, this looks cool. And I go to him, I go, how, how much do you want for it? And he goes, 12 pounds. <laughs> In my head, I, I said to myself, if he says 30, 50, I'm buying it. If he says 50, I'm buying it. Bear in mind, this is that car boots so you should only ever buy things for scrap price. I just noticed what well, it's got glands on the bottom there. Four glands. So, um, yeah, when he said, what, oh, okay. So that's that thing there is not just some sort of breather. It is, it is some sort of contactor, or oh, that's probably a heater. H five. It's labeled H five. I think that might be like an anti condensation heater. Wefma. Twenty four volts Wefma. Oh, I can see if this spring is. So yeah, I think this. That switch there, but I was wondering if it's two position. I think it is just like a. They're using it as a two position switch, but it's only got one contact on it and normally open. So my guess is when you like that, now you've broken the switch. So that's off and that's to turn it on, I'd guess. I wonder what's missing from here. So what I did, I'll give this Google. But yeah, so the guy goes to me, uh, he go, I said to him, how much do you want for it? And he goes, 12 pounds. And I go, what is it? He goes, I don't know. I'm like, oh, will it work? And he goes, I don't know. I'm like, will you take 10? And he goes, yeah. And I just like, I was about to die when he accepted £10. I mean, £12 is an absolute steal for this. So if this turns on, I'm laughing. And if it doesn't turn on, I'm still laughing. Regardless, I'm laughing. This is an incredible buy for me. You know, if I could buy these for £10, 100 of these, I'd do it. Like, it's just wild. But, yeah. Anyway, so uh, before turning it on, I feel like I should just properly isolate those. I don't know. It looks like it's just control voltage. But probably not, I don't, I don't even know. So yeah, I should just isolate those and I'm just going to give it a quick Google and see if I can find out what it actually is. So I'm not quite sure how to proceed here. I've blanked all of these off. And from what I can see, I've got... You know, this is probably my 230 volts going in here. And then my output, 24 volts going to here, I'm guessing. So unfortunately, stuff doesn't have wire numbers on it, which is annoying. But my guess is I've got 230 going in there. I think what I want to do is just drop the 24 wires off, 24 volts off of there, and just see if this if this Siemens logo powers up, and then just do that first. So stick 24 on there, see what happens from there, and then see if I can look to try and power the whole panel. Oh, I forgot to mention as well. I did give it a Google. Tried to like type in a bunch of this stuff, even uh, eLogic. I could not figure out what it is at all. Like, nothing even came up close. So, yeah, unfortunately, I don't know what it is, but if you guys figure it out, I'll show you this as well. So, Q for Patres Fixation ACF Cough, made in Spain. I mean, that's just the bolts, I'm guessing. But, yeah, so, if you figure out what this is, let me know. I'd love to know what it actually is. I'm guessing I won't be able to figure it out. But, I can definitely, at a minimum, reuse the panel, which I'm well happy about. All right, so, moment of truth. Uh, it's a bit awkward for me to plug it in, but I'm going to plug it in now and then see what happens. Ah. So, just plugged it in, and it didn't power on. So, I've put 24 into it. Uh, I mean, I've literally bypassed everything, so the circuit breaker's got nothing to do with it. There's literally no... Um, I'm not putting mains voltage on it at all. And it just didn't power on. Don't mind me. It's actually turned on now. Basically, I have it here and I forgot to put on my circuit breaker here. So I've got my 24 volts coming here into the panel, up along there and into here. And I can see right now, that my lights are in the way. 2008 SU, so Sunday, midnight, 1st of the 1st, 2008. Wow. So it looks like, so it looks like there's no program on it, I'd guess. Stop, okay, set parameter, program name, nothing, stop, yes, okay, card, is there a memory card, where would the memory card be? I don't know anything about a logo, so. Yeah, all right, cool. So I'm very happy. 
I now have a, a, a Siemens logo that I paid £10 for, which is good. So now let's see if I can put mains onto this and see if this uh, power supply works. Alright, so I'm having to think now. I've got my multimeter. Where do I put the mains voltage in the 240? So I've got my uh, circuit breakers here, right? So this is my. That's my live in. So if I show you closer. So I've got my black wire, which is live, my, my blue wire, which is neutral. So that's neutral. Okay, so obviously that circuit breaker is going to be attached to these, this isolator at the back. Sorry, on the front. So if I then onto my live wire and then onto my isolator here. And if I turn the isolator off, that's off. But that side's still on. And then so, turn the isolator back on. I'd expect there to be full continuity through that, but there's some resistance. Okay, but it still is detecting it. My multimeter is just reading like 30 instead of zero, so. Instead of it being like a direct short, there's some resistance through the isolator. There's direct, there's not. Okay, so where does then where's the where's the feed then? Because so that is connected, and then that side of the contactor is connected. That side isn't. Yeah, I don't know where to put the voltage. The uh, okay, so I can see I've got points there as well. I'm gonna say that I put the main voltage in here in one and two. That's what I'm gonna say. <laughs> uh, this can go terribly wrong. So I, I need to try and do some tracing. All right, so what I've deduced so far is that this is the input here, one and two, big chunky black and blue wire. This blue wire and black wire come round into the bottom of this contactor here. Then this contactor, then uh, comes out of here and goes into the bot into so okay so two go in here go around or mains come in here go around into this contactor contactor goes up to the circuit breaker circuit breaker goes up and then I haven't figured out where that circuit breaker goes to yet so regardless I don't want to pull out all the wires and just completely ruin it because I like the way it looks so I'm just going to stick power on here and see what happens so for me, this is where things get a little bit more scarier. So 24 volts I can handle. Now here I have, so I've got my three pin plug wired into there. So just to confirm, I've got brown into one and blue into two. And then so, I think, <laughs> I think that's correct, but yeah, I don't know. So let's see what happens. I mean, this is where I suppose things can get a bit shaky. All right, so I should probably just turn this circuit breaker off, I think. Might be a good idea. Okay, so nothing exploded, no burnouts, no short, hopefully. I don't know if my isolator is on or off. I believe, oh, okay, well, I can check there, the isolator is on, which I probably should turn that off. So if I now flip this switch, the stuff turn on. Hey, <laughs> so we have a working power supply and a working Siemens logo. All right, so I don't have any LEDs on, which you guys can't see right now. So I don't have any LEDs on this switch. So I can't see anything happening when I'm activating this switch. Okay, and then let's press a button. So again, nothing happens when I press the button. Top button. Again, nothing as well. So obviously something's missing there. I don't know what that is as of yet. Now I can manually push these contactors in. So let's see what happens if I, I mean that's, I'm guessing that's a heater. I'm just going to push this contactor in. 
again nothing on this one again nothing let me just check the light nope and nope okay so what's my next step <laughs> I'm happy that I've got a working 24 volt power supply Siemens logo. I've got a working Siemens logo. Need to figure out how these logos work and if they've got an SD card or something. I can look to start programming it. Uh, I don't think I'm going to get time to do that this week. So yeah, I think I'll end this video here with the fact that this is my favorite purchase, I'd say, of, let's look at that, Just that's the key to rotate that. Put that down there lock it yeah and it looks well so yeah i mean i don't know what this thing is but this is my favorite purchase i've ever bought at car boot so i'd say this is incredible the fact that i paid 10 pound i'd pay 10 pound for the panel by itself just the just the metal container I thought less of the, the plc i would have paid 30 40 quid for no problem power supply again i would have paid 10 quid for you know just the, the push buttons like this is an incredible kit that I think you're going to see in a lot more of my videos. Uh, again, no idea what it does. If you know, please let me know in the comments. And man, I'm bloody excited. It'd be great if I could, you know, trace the, the, the circuit. And, you know, I should be able to. I should be able to, like, take these wires from the light and figure out where they're going to and whatnot. My guess is a lot of these are going to be the light. So I've got some four relay outputs there on the PLC that I can investigate. Uh, yeah, none of them are, no wire numbers, so unfortunately that sucks. Other than the fact that there's no wire numbers, the panel is very well done. Yeah. Ah, oh, beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. Cool, guys. All right, thanks for watching. And yeah, hopefully the next next video of this panel, you'll, I'll have a lot more to talk to you guys about. Cool, take care.